Hi, so welcome. And um, I'm here having a little chat with one of my very early clients, patrons, who helped me start my career with sundials. It's Dame Judy Dench. So thank you for seeing me. Dame um, not at all. And uh, we're just going to sort of reminisce a bit about how it came about that we met each other and, and you were interested enough to commission a sundial. And we were just trying to work out where that happened. We I think, think, I think it must have been at Chelsea. Yeah. It must have been uh, over 25 years ago in Chelsea. Based on the age of the dial, which... Yes, based on the age of the dial, which has Mikey's initials and birth date yeah. and mine and Finn's yeah. and then Sammy's. So Sammy was just born and he's about to be 25. One of the reasons I contacted you was we saw the amazing program about you and your your ancestors. My famous ancestor, Tuco Bra. Yeah, but what you don't know is that uh, 14, no, probably 15 years ago, we were approached by the University of New Mexico to build a full-scale working replica of the Tajo Brahe dial. It's the only fully functioning outdoor Tajo Brahe dial in the world. Where is it? In New, in Mexico. New Mexico. And I'll share some photographs. Well, with I you. have to go. <laughs> we'll, we'll go together. Go. Okay. <laughs> they commissioned it and it took 14 years for them to raise the funds and make, make yes. their decisions. Yes. Um, and we installed it about two years ago. I went out there to New Mexico and it is, there's one in the Smithsonian, I believe there's one in Berlin. These are, these are facsimiles or models, but this is the only one that actually works. How fantastic. Is, that's it, isn't it? Yeah. There. Oh my word. Oh, there's another one there. Oh my, how beautiful. This was an exact replica of the engravings of his, his drawings, which, mm. which survived mm. all the fires, mm. because all the instruments were burned in fires. Um, the, the, his notes, his records, and the drawings of how to assemble it were saved. And it's from that. Now, we did that with a, an incredibly talented engineer, sundial maker, mathematician, called Chris Luxby-Taylor. It's incredibly accurate and it's, it's made of stainless steel. Oh, how beautiful, David. This came as a complete surprise to you that, that it, he was a, a direct it ancestor. Was, it was all a total surprise. Yeah. Uh, and when we started to drive to Elsinore, because um, somebody had said to me, does Helsingor mean anything to you? And I thought, oh, Helsingor, I know what Helsingor is. Helsingor is Elsinore. Um, and so I thought, uh, I was thinking, you know, only really of Hamlet and the connection of Shakespeare with it. But what I subsequently found when I was there um, was that my nine times great aunt was lady in waiting to the Queen and that Will Kemp and the company had gone to Elsinore at the time. She's brother and sister with Tuco Bra. I was given a a, a picture of Tuco Bra, and round it yeah. are little family crests uh -huh. and things, and two of them on this side, one is Rosencrantz and one is Guildenstern. Um, <laughs> amazing. I discovered about 15 years ago that one of my ancestors was England's foremost sundial maker and astronomer. They were working at exactly the same time and I made a replica of one of his drawings because there were no real ones left, only a drawing. And they would have corresponded. And I had no connections with sundials apart from I the fact... they're related, David. <laughs> well, <laughs> yes, exactly. related by a letter, which probably, a letter. Took, which probably took months to get from Denmark to, uh, to uh, Oxfordshire, where my ancestor lived. Well, given that it's been 25 years, I'm going to have to have a little, just recap on the you've armillary got, sphere and check that you've remembered everything I told you all that time ago as, as to its function. Yes. 
the equatorial, the meridian, the polar horizon. I know. <laughs> but I've got to thank you as well for a commissioning that piece all those years ago. It was because of you know people like you commissioning. It, it allowed my little business to grow and grow. I, we always come down this way and they always see the, the sphere mm -hmm. and they always say, what is that? Tell me the thing. And I always say that was made for me by David Harbour. And we have a little walk around it, yeah. the little engraved bit around it. Yeah. As long as we're together, there's nothing we cannot achieve yeah. we have around it, yeah. which I must say, it's, I just think it's almost worn out with walking around. <laughs> but the sentiment hasn't. And the sentiment is never. And it, it will carry on telling the time for centuries to come. To recap, lovely. The sun rises in the east. You yes. can then, you can, then when you next show somebody, yes, at the equinox in the, in the east, east travels in this equatorial yes. plane, right sets in the there. west, sets in the west, comes and up tells in the, summer, the time and tells the time on this gnomon, on that yes, which points to the pole star, yes. Oh, and that and it, points to the pole star. If you look up it? that rod at night, you'll see the pole star. Oh! And it says polar down here. In there. Does it? Yeah, just there. That's, and that points to the pole star. Yeah, I mean, the pole star wanders, but it's, um, that is... It should well, be there. It should be, yes, more or less. <laughs> <laughs> but oh. it's such fun that your ancestor would have been... I mean, this was 2000... It's almost 2000 years ago, this design and he had refined it to such an incredible degree and made it adjustable and movable and just wanted to say again thank you for a being so supportive over the years and b having this chat well i couldn't be more proud of having it <laughs> and and now it somehow links up and I, I think of course this is why i've got it of course this is why i asked david Air harbour to make it all those years ago but i wasn't to know then uh, well, thanks for watching and keep an eye out for the next video when, when it comes out. And in the meantime, stay well, stay safe and stay inspired.